everybody and welcome to a quick Mavic Pro 2 tutorial and a quick test with the ActiveTrack 2.0 gimbal and everything. So we're going to start off with the ActiveTrack. Okay, so we're going to go into here. Okay, so we're going to go into ActiveTrack. Okay, it already detects me. Okay, it's going to click on me. Okay, so let's start recording now. Oh, let's not go 4K, let's go to, let's go to about 1080, let's go 30 frames. Okay, so let's start recording now. Okay, so we are recording now. We're going to not touch the controller with this and it is in safe mode as you guys keep down there. It says slow and then I can change it to fast. So it is slow right now and you guys can hear the beeping from the behind. So my hands are not touching the quad. Well, the joysticks. So then won't, it's not going to move. <clears throat> so this is just a quick test. You guys can see. I'm just doing a quick test. I'm going to go between all these little trees around here. And we're going to see how it obstacle avoidance is. Because it has, the Mavic 2 Pro has obstacle avoidance all around it. Okay, so it's got top, bottom, left, right, and down. As you guys can see, it's still following me without me touching it. Yeah, there we go. Obstacle avoidance is pretty good. But if you put it in fast mode, there is no safe mode on it. Okay? So as you guys can see, I'm just walking past. So this is about a too long hand, hand foot. So we'll see how it does. Okay, what does it do? What does it do here? What does it do? I'm just going to help it a little bit. Okay, it lost me already. So I'm just going to help it out a little bit. Okay, just going to help it a little bit past this. Okay. So let's go back into it. So you guys did see how it does lose you a little bit because the wind is blowing and stuff. And there you go, just raised down, it got down. Sorry about the loud, loud noise. Let's see how it does it. It doesn't. Oh, I had to go down with that one. There was a branch that was just there. Okay, I just, I just get out of the active track, and I'll show you guys where that branch is. Look at that branch right there. Look, that branch right there. Okay. So it didn't. It wasn't going to um, cut it just then. So let's continue going. <clears throat> but it's better than Active Track 1 <laughs> or 1.0. Okay. Definitely, I'm going to try it. Go. Yeah, there. Oh, look at that. Did that by itself. So, just obstacle avoidance it. Okay. There is a problem with this, with the Pro 2 2.0. One problem is that when it's just hovering there it's tracking you but when you go further away it just hovers there it doesn't keep following you because i believe that it is actually mapping out the area and it's just calculating which areas he can go and how he can go because you can see if i go like this if i do this he's doing pretty good see So let's continue going. But if I, he usually stops and just goes down. He should go down now. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Let's go see over here. This nice little park. Well, there is there is stuff up the top, so I have to push down on the remote. There we go. I push down on the remote. Okay, so let's re... Okay, so I had to do that because there was a tr there was branches at the top. Didn't see the branches. As you guys can see, it is I'm just going to lower it down so you guys can see a nicer picture of this. And let me just just like this, nice nice area. Okay, let's start walking backwards now. 
making it go backwards. Let's see what it does when I go backwards. So it should, it should see that tree. Let's see. It does see that tree. Should go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's another tree right behind it. Okay, I think it's, it knows that I'm going this way. So it is going that way. So it doesn't go backwards. So it doesn't fly backwards. Let's try run. Okay, see? And now you see it zoom past. Look. You'll just see a zoom. Okay, so let's try again. Let's go this way. So I'm trying to lose it now. I'm trying to lose it. I'm in flip flops. Okay, I lost it. If I walk out, automatically track me. And it'll just zoom past. Whew. Sorry, I'm a little breath now. Because I have flip flops on. Okay. Whew. So let's continue going this way now. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's try. Let's try bring it forward with the trees, so it doesn't. So it's not hitting hitting the trees. So there you go. See, it always goes, stops, maps out the plan, then zooms past. So let's go front, run forward with fast. I'm running as fast as I can. I'm running as fast as I can with my flip flops on. Okay. So, the active track is an amazing 2.0 active track, is amazing as you guys can see. Whew. Yeah, so let's try some harder stuff. So, I'm gonna try going between these trees right here and see how does it detect them trees by going into them where well, there's a lot of trees here as you guys can see I'm just gonna go between it and let's see what it does okay so it's coming let's see what it does it lost me okay it's going slowly now Okay, I had to help it just there because I was scared it's going to hit the tree. Okay. It is windy today, people. So you might hear it in the mic. As you guys can see, the upward sensors detected. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. It's still going around this pole. I'm not controlling it. As you guys can see, the control is out here. Okay. There is a lot of trees here, and this is actually really hard for it. I'm doing the perfect test because there is trees moving. And see how the motion is with the camera. As you guys can see, just zoom through again. So it is going, oh, why are you not? Oh, there you go, you are going down. Okay, I was gonna say, why are you not going down? Sorry about the beeping, so I'm just letting the beeping on so you guys can see that it actually does detect it. So in Active Track 2.0, the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom, the side sensors, the back sensors, and the front sensors, and the bottom and top sensors work. So they only work, the only the side sensors and the top sensors work for tripod mode and active track. They said DJI told me, because I messaged them, I said, why doesn't the side sensors work in P mode? positioning mode they said it does but it doesn't so you guys can see it's just avoiding it so beautifully I'm not even looking at the drone I'm not even doing anything like I'm just walking <clears throat> okay so we're gonna try the fast mode again ready three two one go I'm just gonna run past I'm just gonna try to lose it what did it do Look at that. Did you see that, guys? I was gone far away from it. 
that's amazing that is amazing that's awesome there is a few things that they have to tweak with it but not a lot you guys can see huh <sighs> but the Mavic Pro 2 is about 2,500 AUS dollars and 579 for the Flymore combo okay so it's an expensive drone but it's an amazing amazing drone as you guys can see there are some bad things that they have to change with the Mavic 2 Pro is actually just the sensors the side sensors they should work in P mode and all other modes okay so there you go still detected me okay but remember he's going up and drop of trees right now it's like a two oh my god look at that look at that that just did amazing that's amazing man so let's keep walking okay I'm gonna do like a little bit of a hard okay so he's detecting these trees right in front of me okay should be going down now yeah okay so he's got the top sensors okay so I'm just gonna walk through most of this side it does see it it does see it oh my god look at that it does see it still look at it there's the sensors just adjusted it let's go let's go run let's go run let's see what it does look at that whoa that was really close to the tree but the sensors hit it the size sensor hit it like i mean hit it off so it doesn't hit that's an amazing drone people if i would say if you want this drone as your first drone i will tell you to get it a hundred percent because this is an amazing drone but it is an expensive drone but still it's an amazing drone people so what else can we do? 